Hello guys, today we will talk about fractions. More precisely, we will learn how to write these fractions with you. We have already learned how to write fractions and represent these fractions. However, today we will take into consideration a slightly unusual example, and it appears in this manner. We need to jot down the fraction depicted in the image, therefore we possess an image. This is a square shape, and it is divided into smaller sections like this, following a specific pattern or arrangement. And we need to write down the fraction that is shown in this picture. In principle, there is nothing so difficult, and we know that a fraction is a number that is written as two numbers. One of them is positioned above the fraction, above the fraction line, and the second number is written below the fraction line. So let's attempt to write down this fraction. However, first let's discuss this with you. We remember, and it is very important, to write a fraction, you need to understand how many equal parts are there in this whole number. However, the matter at hand is that we have this square, and this particular square is shaded in color. So it will be two parts out of how many parts? That is two parts out of how many parts? It will be a total of two parts out of how many parts? These parts should be identical, but they have differences in size. Consequently, this square is small, whereas these squares are large in size and differ from each other. Therefore, first and foremost, in order to write a fraction, we require these squares to be identical. So what is our plan of action? We need to divide the squares that are left into equal parts to ensure fairness and accuracy. And only at this particular moment can we write the fraction in a correct manner. Well, at this moment in time, let's proceed with the calculation to determine the number of parts out of the total number of parts that are shaded in the given figure. We will calculate these parts and as a result we get 16. Thus we can write down the resulting fraction, 2 out of 16. That's all you need to do. It is very important to know that all these parts must be the same. Next lesson, we'll work on fractions. That's it for now. Goodbye until next time.